Good morning, Vetheads. I am heading over to my parents' house this morning. I gotta borrow a couple of tools. As is generally my luck, I don't have all the tools I need to complete my job today. However, what we're gonna be doing is replacing the front spoiler on my Corvette. The Corvette is a very low machine, and even an experienced driver is inevitably gonna hit a couple of dips in the road or bumps along the way that cause that front spoiler to scrape. Okay, and now with the vet up off the ground, we are going to get underneath and see what we're working with. Should be a couple of bolts, hopefully something not too difficult, but we'll see when we get under there. So as you can see here, this is really what I'm looking to replace. But since I bought an entire set, we're going to be replacing it all the way across. My original thought was I would just plastic dip a new piece and the old pieces to match. Uh, however, it was pretty much just when it came down to cost it was better to just buy the whole set now in addition we are going to be installing uh, essentially reinforcements they sell for these bumpers here and we'll be installing them as well you can see it's like actually splitting here um, yeah so we're gonna take care of this it should be pretty much just removing these bolts now, the worst part of all of this is there's these stupid clips that go in there. I mean, if you've ever worked with them, they're, they're pretty shitty to work with, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to get this out and uh, get the new one on. So besides the new parts, there's only a few things you'll need to get the job done. The original bolts holding the part, the spoiler on, is seven millimeters. So you'll need a seven millimeter wrench to get them off as well as some I needed to pull off and put back on, so you'll need it to get some back on. The upgrade hardware kit is 10 millimeter bolts, so you'll need a 10 millimeter wrench to get those on. Other than that, you just need to get the car up in the air and securely standing on jack stands, as well as a little time and patience to get the job done. Okay, with one part off, I'm actually going to put in contacts because my glasses are fogging up. But beyond that, you want to make sure you're actually removing the bolts you need and not other bolts that are holding other parts on. Ask me how I know there's other bolts under there holding other parts on. Let's get contacts in and finish this job up. Okay, vet heads, with the old parts removed, uh, I'm going to actually be putting these off to the side and hold on to them. Uh, the reason being is I'm going to actually clean them up really to the best I can. And then I'm going to give a shot at plastic dipping just to see what they end up looking like. And then, God forbid, uh, something happens to my new set at some point. I have a spare set that uh, is at least plastic dipped. Obviously, I won't have a passenger side, but I'm hoping that with the reinforcements I bought, I won't worry about anything pretty much shearing off uh, in the future. So here is the new set. As you can see, it's definitely a darker black um, and some of it is still wrapped. I pulled some of it apart just to kind of get a better look at it. In addition, here is the reinforcements. Now I bought both of these items off of Amazon and I will put the link in the description. Uh, off the top of my head, I think altogether these items cost about 130 bucks. At prime shipping so in the grand scheme of things expensive but I don't think terribly expensive now you can find better deals out there but just be aware of the shipping I found cheaper prices but then once I added in shipping Amazon came out to the lowest this also comes with a new hardware kit as I mentioned the hardware kit is bulkier bolts whether or not they're actually gonna make a difference I don't know um, but the last few things I actually have to pull off will be uh, one more bolt, which 
the one I thought I removed and didn't need to remove, I actually do need to remove. I put it back on. So live and let live and learn and all that good jazz. And uh, yeah, so just a few more things to pull off and then we'll start putting this stuff on. Now these reinforcements, they don't look like much. So I'm going to give about a week to these, a week and a half, and then just see if I noticed any difference or anything. Um, and really just kind of see how everything's going with the front bumper once I get it on, of course. But let's go ahead and start getting this stuff on. Without removing this, because I do have it in a position I like, if you take the, the, the part, put it against these black rails, slide it straight back, it should almost exactly fit where it needs to go. Now, I say almost because this original part fits perfectly. This new part, I had to bend a little bit to get to work. These parts here, these side parts, I bent out. I also bent them down a little bit so that this would sit further into the uh, bracket here, holding it, and that it would also stick out further at the bottom, matching the side air dams. So that's basically how I did this, and it's only two bolts, two 10 millimeter bolts here on the edges. And that's it for the center. Okay, with the center on and the driver's side on, I'm going to show you exactly what I did to the side um, air dams to get them to install. There's two things that are going to happen. So I need to remove this bolt here. As you can see, it actually goes into uh, this bolt here, which is still in. Um, this is actually where it's sheared off. It sheared this bolt and the second bolt in off. In addition, since I have the reinforcement, I'm going to need to remove this bolt here to get in there. Uh, the reinforcement comes out over here and uh, clamps here as well. So those are seven millimeter uh, bolts. So let's go ahead and take care of them. I'm going to put the tabs in here, here, and here so that I can upgrade to the 10 millimeter bolts for these slots. Now they give you enough tabs to upgrade this as well. I am not gonna worry about that. Uh, I don't really wanna have to wiggle that tab that's out up in there and get another one in. So I'm just gonna put the three in here. So what's gonna happen is this is gonna lay, match up these holes here. And I had these tabs on the outside because that's the way they were um, on the original part. And the reinforcement will go in like this and you'll see it'll bolt here. Now, just pay attention. Uh, it tells you what side is facing down uh, depending on driver or passenger. So let's go ahead and get these bolted in. Okay, and new spoiler is now installed. Now, typically I could let it go, but as you can see here, there's a little bit of a gap. This isn't as sitting as far forward as it should. And that's just a matter of bending the metal back here that, that it bolts with. So I could let it go. Uh, honestly, it looks good. And from far away, you're not even gonna notice this, but I feel like if I went under here, I took the time to do this, I want it done perfectly. So really the last thing I'm gonna do is go ahead, get under here, adjust this as best I can so that it matches here and all, uh, all will be perfect in the world. Hey Vented, so it's been about two weeks since I did the front spoiler on my car. Everything is holding up wonderfully. Uh, I haven't had any issues. now. I did my best once I put it on to really avoid bumps and scrapes, but truth be told, it is extremely difficult to do so. 
So that probably one of the drawbacks of just owning a low car, um, a Corvette, any low car really, is you're going to hit things like that and you just got to be willing to deal with it. Now, I think the big question would be, did the reinforcements, did the upgraded hardware make a difference? And the truth is, is I, I don't think there's any way to tell. I, I don't know what type of bump really sheared off the passenger side in the first place. And now that I'm more aware of it, I don't know that I would hit a bump like that again. So that's pretty much where I'm at. I, I think it definitely worth my time because the bumper was falling or the spoiler was falling off. If you're just looking to upgrade it for aesthetic purposes, I, I don't know that it's really necessary because you gotta you gotta know you're gonna hit bumps and possibly shear off a new one. Uh, maybe upgrading the hardware and the uh, reinforcements are the way to go if you're concerned about it. That's all I got for this episode. I am actually looking at my next episode directly in front of me and I'm gonna leave it there. But I am very excited to get that episode rolling. Um, yeah, it's really like my first mod ahead of me. Uh, yeah, really excited for that episode. So if you have any questions or comments, uh, please let me know. Uh, I'll do my best to answer them. And I hope this video was fairly informative. I, it was longer than I expected. But at the same time, I, I think it was... Uh, I, I think I said everything I needed to say without having to really go into the boring details so thanks again guys and uh, remember to hit that like and subscribe button and share